Hi everyone. Are you ever working in Excel and you come across these common errors right here? In a value reference divided by zero number name or null. I'm going to show you how to get rid of these but first come down here to the right hand corner and click on the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of our videos after you watch this video. Alright let's go ahead and get started here. So the way I'm going to show you this is I created a little table here and I have a vendor number, a total cost column, and a number of units column and then we're going to calculate the cost per unit column. So you can see that right here I don't have any information in this units cell right here and what that's going to cause is it's going to cause an error because it's not going to let me divide this number by zero. So if I go in here and I put my formula in Divide that by the units. It's going to give me a number for this cell, but if I drag that down and copy the formula down, it's going to give me a couple of errors. This divided by zero. So the way I can get rid of this is by manipulating this formula a little bit. And what we're going to use here is we're going to use the if error function. So to do that, I'm just going to go here to insert function and I'm going to search for error. Go ahead and hit enter and then right here is the error function so I'm going to go ahead and select that click OK. And then here it's going to ask me for the value so my value is going to be what I want to calculate. So I'm dividing the total cost by the number of units. I'm just going to click here and select the total cost. Divide that by the number of units and go ahead and select the little box. So then it's going to ask me for the value if there is an error. So if that what I just calculated results in an error, it's going to say what do you want to put in there? So here I'm just going to put zero for now. So I'm going to put zero if there's nothing there. And then I'm going to, going to go ahead and click OK. And right now I have a little error um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say no on this and click OK and then I'm going to, this is my original formula that I, that I typed in there and I'm just going to get rid of that by deleting it. And then I'm going to go ahead and push enter. So that gives me the same number except now I have this if error function here. So it's taking B2 divided by C2 and if there's an error it's going to give me a zero. So let's go ahead and test that by dragging this down. So now you can see where I had those errors, I have a zero. So just let me go a little bit further with this. I'm going to show you uh, how this looks with a VLOOKUP. So whenever I do a VLOOKUP, and I have the formula already in here, so I have VLOOKUP, I'm looking for this number, for this vendor number in this table, and if it finds it, it's going to put the cost per unit in this cell here. So right now I can't find this number, so it's giving me an error saying that it's in A because it's looking for this number in this table and it's not finding it. So you can see that it gives you an in A. So to do that I can use the if error function again. So I'm just this time I'm just going to type it in. Since I've kind of showed you how to get to it through the through the ribbon already. So I'm going to say if error start my parentheses and then here I'm just going to and it shows you down here how the formula works so it calculates it's asking for the value first which is going to be our VLOOKUP formula and then the value if there's an error so here I'm going to put zero and then I'm just going to close the parentheses so now you can see there that it gives me a zero and if I drag that down it's going to give me a zero every time it can't find that number in the table so now if I want to take it just one step further, now that we have our if error function in there, we can add more to this if error. So say we want to round this 7.8. We can put in a round function. And come to the end of our VLOOKUP here. And let's just say that we want to round that to do two decimal points. We'll put a 2 in there. 
and close my parentheses. Now I have a round VLOOKUP and my overall function is the if error function. So then that is going to round it to two decimal places. So you can play around with that a little bit. And there's other things you can do too. So say that I, instead of a zero, I wanted to put in some text that just says, you know, for this month, put in some text. So start my quotations and say no, no activity. So anytime there's an error, it's going to say no activity for that cell. If I want to leave it blank, I can just put in quotations and end quotations, and that's going to leave me a blank cell. And that's how you get rid of errors. So if you think this is helpful, check out the rest of our videos, and uh, we'll see you all next time.